There's no city like this in the world. You're in love with a fantasy. I'm in love with you. In 2011's Midnight in Paris, Owen Wilson plays Gill, a screenwriter and aspiring novelist who loves the City of Light and idolizes all the writers and artists who thrived there in the 1920s. Unfortunately, Rachel McAdams, as his fiancée Inez, prefers Malibu. To get away from their conflict of wills, Gil takes midnight walks. On a darkened street, he's picked up by a classic car that lets him out at a party. Scott Fitzgerald. And who are you, old sport? Gil. The, you have the same names as... As what? You know, Scott Fitzgerald and... Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald, the Fitzgeralds. Isn't she beautiful? Shocked, yes, yes. Gil realizes that somehow he's in 1920s Paris, where next he encounters Ernest Hemingway. Writers are competitive. I'm not going to be competitive with you. You're too self-effacing. It's not manly. If you're a writer, <coughs> declare yourself the best writer. But you're not as long as I'm around. Gil also meets Marianne Cotillard as Adriana, a young woman who happens to be a mistress of Pablo Picasso. He's instantly smitten. Well, you certainly understand why all these guys want to paint you, because you have just about one of the best faces ever. I mean, Gil loves being able I to talk to people like Salvador Dali, the surrealist. I see. I don't know, sir. He even gets feedback on his novel from Gertrude Stein, who mentored so many writers and artists in the 1920s. You've understood me clearly. If the rest of the book reads as well when you're done, you'll have something of value. Midnight in Paris is chock full of delightful 1920s characters who once thrived there. Talking with them helps Gil discover what he really wants back in his 21st century real life. You can watch Midnight in Paris for $2.99 on Vudu and Amazon Prime. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.